Good morning, everybody. We are hot on the trail of lions. We've heard multiple lions calling throughout the night. And we can even see this very nice big kudu bull seems very, very, very sort of wary of his surroundings, which is quite, quite interesting. And we have made our way to the far northern boundary, and that's exactly what we're going to do. That road that you will see soon, that is our northern boundary. There we go. Which the Kudu bull is about to cross, northwards. All right, we're going to check this boundary. See where these lions, and if those lions have entered Pridelands, based on the roaring that we heard, that definitely sound like it was within our perimeter. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Madikwe Private Game Reserve in the northern western province of South Africa. And that is a lioness who seems to have. Is that an injury? No, it's just some ruffled fur. Oh, she's got cubs. Look at that. I wondered if she wasn't bringing some cubs with her because she was looking back into the bush there. It's in very fine condition. You can see she's lactating. I think she's looking for the cubs. I think they're in there behind her and they might come in. Now she's waiting for something. Maybe she's just very early for her plane, I'm not sure. Well, we were about to leave this area and then this youngster and his mummy came down. And the little one was just being so cute that we thought to ourselves, well, why burn diesel unnecessarily when we have everything on hand? And that is a very cute little elephant. He's been chewing sand, biting the end of a, this pan, kicking, chewing a rock. And now he's feeling ashamed and going to see his mum, who is surviving on a diet probably almost exclusively of sickle bush currently. I wish he'd eat more of it. Ooh, look at this greeting going on. Sorry about the light, everyone. We can't really move from here. Now that sounded fairly unhappy, but I think that's just to our human ears. I think that's actually quite a happy greeting. I think they know each other quite well. They're probably all part of the same herd, and maybe they were separated for a while during the night. And now they're reacquainting. That's very sweet. Youngsters having a suckle. I suspect that those two youngsters are in fact siblings. But we do have my favorite rapture. Not sure if it's the couple that we know, the monogamous pair that we know, parents of Batavia, because we're in a different part of the reserve, so it's possibly not. There are multiple monogamous pairs that we find around Juma. It also could be. We're on sort of the western edge of the open area of quarantine. And they've got to go hunting. They're still feeding their chick which is quite unbelievable. Battlier chicks have real slow development. Size, no, they're big. But that doesn't mean they are sort of able and ready to go hunting. They're still very much being fed. Papa seems to do most of the hunting. This is a male. I haven't really seen mum deliver anything yet. But that's that can possibly happen when I'm not there. I'm going to miss little Batavia. It's not just the coloration that I love about battle ears. When you see them soar, 
they're obviously really easy to identify as battleers. They have that unique wobbly flight. But when you see it and it's right above you, it always makes my heart just skip a beat. It makes me feel instantly so happy. It's it's so beautiful the way they just take to the skies. And I always think, wow, what must that be like? Guys, we got the cheetah, we got the cheetah. Go, go. They, 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 they. Go. Cameron? We got the cheetah here on Zoe's. The female with the three cubs. There's the female. And the three cubs are just behind her. On Zoe's. Oh, there comes the one cub there. Just to the left. Left, Cameron. Oh, all right. Let's quickly see if we can re reposition here. There's cheetah there. All right. So that's a female. And we're just going to look at the three cubs. They're going to come out. All right, so she's just gone across. Okay, the cubs are coming out. The cubs are coming out. The cubs are going to be coming out now. Just keep it right there. All right, just watch, watch, watch. Come on, just go to the left there. There's the little ones. There's the little cubs. One, two, and the third one's coming behind. Oh my word, is the third one. Yes! Look at that, look at that little face. Oh, this is precious. Oh, she is, there she is. She is a little bit shy. Here comes the, here comes the little cubs, here comes the little cubs now, Cameron. All right, unfortunately that drive is coming to a close, but please make sure that you stay tuned. Oh, look at that. Stay tuned for uh, live at the water holes straight after the sunrise safari. What a way. Thank you everybody for joining us. And this is brilliant. What a way to end this sunrise safari with a female cheetah with her three cubs. Here comes the third little cub, full little bellies. Oh my goodness, hello. Wow, wow, wow. One of the most endangered predators that we do have here. But thank you so much from the Wild Earth team, from myself, Cameron, from all of us. Have a lovely day further.